One of the key main factors to improve establishment is obviously seed size. The larger the seed size, the better uh, the establishment, generally speaking, but it's not always a linear effect. You generally speaking get a lot of your best results from getting, selecting 1.8 millimetre seed size and above. So, uh, or another way of thinking of it is like four grams per thousand seeds. You would generally want to try and target that kind of seed size and that's where you get your big gains from establishment. Obviously timing is, is critical. You obviously want to make sure that you're matching um, phenology with with sowing date, so you want to make sure that the crop starts to flower in the right window, so you've really got to make sure that you match sowing date and um, phenology. The thing with that, we're now sowing earlier and earlier and earlier, and it's now getting hotter and hotter when we're actually sowing canola. So canola, it's a really small seeded crop, it's got low energy reserves, um, therefore that's why we get poor establishment. So we're starting to expect a lot from it now by sowing it earlier in those really hotter conditions, which can make it a bit problematic. So. Like now we're sowing less seeds, it's costing us more money, and, um, and we're putting those seeds in a lot harsher conditions. So that's why it's become a more critical issue. Um, I, I suppose some of the other critical factors, some of the agronomics to improve establishment, are some of the simple things. So you've got seed size is one, but um, things like even just slowing your um, sowing down. So reducing your sowing speed from 16 kilometres an hour to eight kilometres an hour, particularly if you've got a disc seeder, um, that can increase establishment by around 16%. So, you know, they're, ju they're just simple things uh, along those lines. Now, what you're really doing by slowing down is you're giving that seed an even uniform seed placement compared to bouncing the seeder over the actual paddock. Uh, other critical factors are looking at things like fertiliser separation from the seed. Make sure that you're separating seed from your fertiliser, um, like particularly nitrogen or, or urea, um, but the same with, with MAP as well. Uh, other factors are um, uniform, seed placement uh, and also like stubble if you've got a really heavy stubble load you might want to try and reduce that stubble load because um, that can reduce establishment by around 10 percent as well now sometimes stubble can be king as well because you get you've got low rainfall and you want to try and stubble can be priceless in some years but generally speaking stubble can sort of uh, it makes the, the soils colder um, therefore the canola has got to emerge it's got to grow up in between the stubble which can make it a bit more vulnerable from pest attack and those sorts. We've had some really wet years, so we've been getting slugs and slaters and, and there's a range of things out there that have been actually wiping out, uh, or that have been reducing, reducing the establishment. So probably another critical thing to think of is, generally speaking, we want to show shallow. Now we've been fortunate enough recently to have some good rainfall, so we won't have to bog canola in at depth, but if growers do have to actually chase moisture, that's where seed size gets really important. And the other critical factor is also going to be press wheel pressure. The deeper you sow, if you've got too much press wheel pressure, that can really reduce the amount, like the establishment that we're actually seeing. Um, and another, like machinery wise also is, particularly now that we've had all this rain, um, a disc seeder compared to a knife point press wheel. Now, the disc works really well in dry conditions, but if it's a bit wet, you can just sort of slice through the ground and you're not actually closing the slot which growers will have to be a bit mindful of this year if they're using a disc seed. Where the knife point press wheel, you can probably get on the country a little bit quicker and have left less damage compared to the disc. So effectively, uh, there's been a lot of work over the last five years on canola establishment that GRDC has funded and you know, field survey results and um, also some uh, small plot trials. So this work's expanding basically, so there's new work uh, getting looked into the effects of moisture, temperature. Uh, a lot of emphasis on moisture and temperature as we're trying to sow earlier. You know, how hot is too hot to sow into? And um, what is the lowest moisture content that we can sow canola in to get a successful establishment? So, and that's sort of getting built at the moment. Uh, there's new, just a new best management guide that's been published recently looking at how to improve um, canola establishment via grower retained seed. Um, and also there's a lot of data on the GRDC website that you can actually access.